45-year-old Devin Michaels in court days after prosecutors suspect she killed the father of her children. One of the most striking murder stories to have shaken the entire world is the Jonathan Willett murder case, allegedly committed by Devin Michaels opposite Las Vegas. Events unfolded in August 2023 when the remains of Willett were found inside his home in Henderson, Nevada. He was 46 years old, and his remains were found in a critically compromised condition, leading to a very complex investigation and subsequent legal process. The relationship between Devin Michaels and Jonathan Willett was, per reports, rather convoluted. Michaels, who was 45 at the time of the incident, was described as Willett's sometime romantic partner, while she was said to be married to Willett's son, if that weren't confusing enough. This tangled family dynamic added another layer of tension to their interactions. Michael's relationship to Miss Willette seemed volatile, with reported panics that might contribute to the sad triggers leading to Willette's death. On August 8, 2023, Willette's mother was the one who found the lifeless body in their home, which started the investigation. The scene she was presented with was horrific. The body of Willette was beheaded with traces of a strong struggle. There were bottles of bleach and ammonia nearby, showing that an attempt to clean up or destroy evidence was made. A meat cleaver was missing from the house, further suspicions about the murder weapon. The police did not take any time in making Devin Michaels a person of interest. After the initial investigation, arrest, and charging, Michaels was eventually charged for the murder. It had been reported that Michaels threw Willette's head in a trash bin, where it was picked up by sanitation and never recovered. Michaels contended that she had not meant to kill Willette, but only meant to hurt her to the extent that she would have to go to the hospital. She stated she had done this because she was concerned about her children's well-being and future. However, the type of injury inflicted did not hold up to that assertion. As the case continued to make its way through the courts, Michaels eventually reached a plea agreement. She pleaded guilty to second-degree murder with a deadly weapon, which had a substantial effect on her sentencing. The plea agreement allowed for the potential of a life sentence with parole consideration after 15 years. For some, this was a pragmatic pathway to ensuring a conviction but others felt this was a disproportionately lenient possibility of parole, given the brutality of the crime. The plea has gained widespread media attention and public scrutiny, with many concerned about the leniency of such a plea agreement. The possibility of Michael's release after 15 years has made his sentence a lightning rod of controversy, particularly given the brutality of his crime and what Willette's family have endured. Proponents of the harsher sentence argued the crime deserved a harsher punishment. Those who sided with the plea bargain believed it brought a modicum of justice and skipped the uncertainties of a trial. The crime came in suburban neighborhood in Henderson, an outskirts community only a few miles from Las Vegas, thought to be tranquil in contrast and comparison to the busy Las Vegas Strip. This incident disrupted the usual calm, making both local and national headlines. From the disposal of evidence to the strained relationship between the victim and the perpetrator, the murder showed deep-seated tension that eventually culminated in violence. The tragedy really hit home with the family of Willette, especially his mother, who discovered the body. It was a murder that not only deprived them of a loved one, but also left behind questions of what happened leading up to such a heinous crime. The involvement of Devin Michaels, whose life had been inextricably linked with the family through her relationship with Willette's son, further complicated the emotional fallout for all concerned. Beyond immediate family needs, the community obviously was shocked at the violence of the crime. While not immune, Henderson is generally viewed as a safer alternative to some sections of the Las Vegas metropolitan area. This incident gradually tested those perceptions and pointed out the increasingly unpredictable nature of domestic conflicts, which often escalate in lethal ways. This case also involves broader issues about domestic violence, mental health, 
and the criminal justice system's handling of complex interpersonal crimes. Anyhow, dependent element, conflict, and unresolved tension between Michaels and Willette appear to have been part of the relationship. Although Michaels told the court that it was premeditated, the ferocity of the violence coupled with attempts to hide evidence of wrongdoing hints otherwise. It also points to the difficulties that face police judgments about intent and the proper administration of justice in domestic homicides. A plea bargain such as that extended to Michaels makes practical legal sense by guaranteeing some accountability for a crime, considering the vagaries of trial and sentencing. Plea bargains are by no means without controversy, however, especially in cases involving violence. The terms included in this plea bargain, where parole can be allowed after 15 years, have been a sticking point among those following the case. The fact that Devin Michaels murdered Jonathan Willett serves as a tragic example of how domestic tension can rise from one unfortunate incident into deadly violence. From the discovery of this crime to the court case and public reaction, all the details of this case have shown just how multifaceted such cases are and how difficult it may be for those seeking justice. The plea bargain provides some sort of closure, but leaves many questions on the appropriateness of the punishment to the crime. As this case continues to strike deep in the minds of people, it serves to remind how enormous the ripples are that an act of violence within the confines of a family creates, and how difficult true justice can be in balancing realities of legal process. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. We dive into the most intriguing and shocking crime stories each week, and your support means the world to us. Until next time, stay safe and take care of yourself. See you in the next video.